Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Abby Aslan and I am a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube, but I love to occasionally sprinkle in some makeup related videos, get ready with me's and that kind of thing. And today I'm going to be doing an old school empties video. I've been accumulating empty products for literally like two and a half, three months almost and my bag's finally full so I'm going to be going through all of my empty products that I've used up in the last two or three months and telling y'all what I think is worth it and like what I would repurchase again and then the things that I'll pass on repurchasing. I love these videos so much. I think they give more insight into someone's favorite products than a favorites video does because you see what people truly use up and they have to sit there face to face with the product and decide is this something I would buy again or not. If you're not following me on my social media already, definitely be sure to do so. I'm at Abigail Aslan on TikTok. Everything's always linked down below at Abby Period Aslan on Instagram and anywhere else you want to follow me, go for it. I also have a podcast if you didn't know and it's just called In Bloom Podcast available everywhere you listen and it's a lot of motivational self-help type of content. So if you like more of that, I do episodes every Monday at 5 a.m. So if you're into that, definitely check out my podcast as well. So we've got some skincare, we've got some body products, we've got some makeup, we've got it all. I literally have only watched these videos from Kathleen Lights. It's been years since I feel like I've even watched one and I feel like these have infiltrated TikTok a little bit, people showing like their empties. But I have too many products to do this on TikTok. First and foremost, this product's technically not empty. There's literally like two more uses left probably, but I got this for Christmas. I asked for it. It's the Bergamo and Eucalyptus Salt and Stone. I don't know if that's how you say Bergamo. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it. So sorry if I said that wrong. This is a body wash. And if you love the smell of a spa, this is for you. It's definitely a little bit pricier, but what I asked for for Christmas was the bundle of the deodorants and the body wash, so I got both, and you get a little bit of a discount if you bundle. It's a really big size, but to be honest, went through this pretty quickly, I feel like. It feels like I went through it quickly, but if I got it for Christmas and started using it when I got back in Texas right after Christmas, I guess it's lasted me like two full months, so maybe that's lasts a while. But I use it on my silicone loofah that I just got off Amazon, and that like really makes product go a lot longer of a way because it really helps lather it. Will I repurchase this right now because I ran out? No, because I have other body washes that I need to use up. And I wouldn't repurchase it right now just because I don't want to spend like 20 plus dollars on a body wash. However, if you like indulging in body washes, definitely check this one out. Do not pass it up. It really smells like a spa and I love salt and stones products. And I'm Next, we have the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. If y'all haven't used this to clean your brushes, I guess you're living under a rock. So you should probably get out of that rock. You you are somebody who does not have the patience to like sit there and like scrub your brush and like really wash it and then wait like days for it to dry. The only issue with this product is that it runs out pretty quickly, especially if you have a lot of brushes to clean. It's a quick drying rinse free, free formula, which basically means you can put it in a little container, stick the brush in, and then all of the product literally just dissipates off the brush because of whatever chemicals are in it, which is kind of a little alarming when I think about putting the brush back on my face, but it always dries, so like I don't think it's like a direct thing, and I've never like had a breakout or anything from it, so I'm not that worried about it, but it is a little concerning. And then your brush is like basically dry even though you just stuck it in a liquid. It's literally magic, but great way to clean your brushes. It is pricier, but I don't clean my brushes terribly often because I don't wear makeup terribly often, so it works for me. And would I repurchase this? Yes, I already did. I literally picked some up like two weekends ago. So if the lighting changes, I'm sorry. It is like getting close to sunset, but I do have artificial lighting, so we'll be okay, but if it starts to get a little dark, that's why. Next is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is my go-to face wash. I have repurchased this so many times. I always get the big one just because it's better value. You can get this from Amazon, Target, CVS. I love that I can just like grab it from any store basically wherever I'm at. I started using this back when Hiram like got really popular on TikTok and on YouTube and he recommended this for dry skin and I literally have been using this since then. Most face washes make my face feel very stripped and just stripped of natural oil. So I really like this one because it doesn't make my face feel that way. I like that it's affordable and I will just always go back to repurchase it because it's a lot of good product and it works for me. And I have already repurchased one of these too. Next we have the Way Detox Shampoo. So this was actually sent to me in PR and I have a whole other bottle because they sent me another box of PR like months after they sent this one with the detox shampoo in it. And I get a lot of shampoo conditioner type of products through PR and through brands, which I'm very thankful for. So I have not repurchased this, but I will once I run out of my second bottle. <laughs> This stuff, the first time I used it, I loved it from like the smell, but I wasn't sure if I loved it for my hair. But the more I used it, and then when 
I started to use other shampoos instead, I that's when I realized like, okay, I really love this stuff. I especially love this if I have recently worn my hair styled, so like straight and it has oils in it, dry shampoo, that kind of thing, because it really just helps get rid of a lot of that product's buildup. It smells absolutely amazing, and it just makes my scalp feel like I have a new layer of skin and a new scalp, and I love that. So I absolutely would repurchase this once I run out of my second bottle. This is the Way Thick Hair Mask, and I literally scraped this puppy clean. I also was sent this in the same PR that I was sent this, and I use this as conditioner on my hair wash days. So like once, maybe twice a week, and I would just use it from like here down on my hair and let it sit while I wash my body and shave my legs. And it also smells amazing. All the Way's products smell like unmatched, absolutely incredible. But it makes my hair so soft to the touch, so easy to comb through, just absolutely perfect. I don't have it anymore right now and I am missing it, so I need to repurchase this, but I have not yet. I will repurchase this, it's so good. And I also really wanna try the Fit Care Shampoo. Um, so maybe I'll try the Fit Care Shampoo instead of buying another bottle of the Detox Shampoo. But this and the Bondi Boost Hair Mask are like my two favorite as of lately. So we have the Olay Retinol Cleansing and Renewing Nighttime Body Wash. So I love this body wash. For a drugstore body wash, this is probably my favorite besides the Method ones. I love the Method ones a lot, but sometimes I do feel like they leave a little bit of a residue on my skin, but not anything like that bothers me enough to like not repurchase it. But this stuff just makes my skin feel really, really soft. It smells really good. Not my favorite smell in the world. Like I prefer more of the spa-like body wash smells. And this is definitely more of like a florally, I don't want to say old woman kind of smell, but it kind of does, but it still smells really good. It's not that it smells bad, it's just not like my favorite smell. I like to think that I'm doing really, something really good for my body's skin, because you know I always take care of like my face skincare, but not really my body. A little bit of a switch up at an angle because I needed to plug my light in, so. But I like to think I'm doing something good with my skin with this product just because it is a retinol-based body wash, and it says it's a nighttime body wash too, so. I do really like it and I would repurchase it. I'm not going to repurchase it right now because I don't need body wash, but I would repurchase it, especially at its price point. Next we have the La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. I was sent this in PR a long time ago and it is like an air aerosol mist of just water. Oh, there's, I guess there's a little bit left. Oops. I always get water on my face before I apply my hyaluronic acid. And I love having like a bottled or canned water instead of just using my sink water to put on my face. So it makes me feel a little bit more fancy. It's not necessary. I don't think I would repurchase this just because I do think it's like over $15, like maybe like $15 to $20 for water. But at the same time, if I had like an Ulta gift card, I would get it. I, I don't want to spend like 15 to 20 bucks on my own money for water, but I love it. The mist is great. It's very refreshing and it's very convenient, but I wouldn't spend 15 to 20 dollars on canned water. Next we have the Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. I had just picked this up because I needed shaving cream one day in Target and I have bought this multiple times, but I honestly don't think I'm going to repurchase it anymore because I have a newfound love for shave oil. I recently tried out the Tree Hut Tahitian Vanilla Shave Oil and it's absolutely changed the game for shaving for me, so I don't see myself going back to a shaving cream, so I would not repurchase this and the bottle gets like really rusty and gross and I literally hate that. Another boring product, Secret pH Balancing Ocean Breeze 48 Clear Gel Deodorant. I actually did really like this. I try to be a natural deodorant girly and I have natural deodorant, but when it gets like 90 degrees in Houston or if I'm working out, I just, I don't want to smell bad, you know what I mean? And like, I can't just carry my deodorant around with me everywhere because it quite literally will melt in the Houston heat, even if it's just in my bag. So I don't want to like, I don't want to ruin an expensive natural deodorant by letting it melt. You know what I mean? But I really like gel deodorants because you don't have to worry about the white getting on your clothes, which I've been struggling with that so much lately because the replacement that I purchased for this is also a secret deodorant, but it's like the actual solid instead of the gel. And I get white on my clothes every time I get dressed and it's so annoying. So I would repurchase this. Next we have the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. Yes, yes, yes. I'm 100% gonna repurchase these. I haven't yet just because I have other eye patches to go through first, but these are so inexpensive for eye patches. There are eye patches out there where you get like 10 pairs and they're like 50 bucks. I'm like, what are you doing? You're literally gonna throw them away at the end of the day. These are under $20 and you get 30 pairs which is so good. It's less than a dollar pair. I keep them in my skin fridge every morning. I put on eye patches while I'm making the bed, getting dressed, and sort of just getting ready for the day before I do my skincare. A small act of self-care that makes me feel more awake and ready for the day, and I just really feel like it refreshes my under eyes because my under eyes are always really, really puffy when I wake up in the morning. And I do feel like they are energizing in the sense that my eyes don't feel as heavy. I don't internally feel more energized, but like my eyes just don't feel as 
fatigued. So I absolutely love these and will repurchase. And if you follow me on TikTok, you've seen me feature them in like all my TikToks almost. Next we have the COSRX Advanced Nail 92 All-in-One Cream. If you haven't tried COSRX, like you're just sleeping. You are literally sleeping. Their products are so good. It's a Korean skincare company and they're very affordable compared to a lot of other skincare. Most of their products are between like $15 and $30, I would say. I have used and still do use a lot of their products and have repurchased them time and time again because they are so good. I've never experienced a breakout from any of their products. I got this to sort of pair with the Snail Mucin Essence because this is essentially a thicker cream version of that product and I really do love it. It's like a very thick, goopy kind of nighttime cream. I really like to try out different nighttime moisturizers and creams. It's just one of those products that I like have fun trying out and testing out new things with. I really love this. I felt like my face was always very hydrated when going to bed. It never really felt dry waking up and I think it paired really well with the other snail product that I was already using. So using two products of like the same kind of base, I feel like it's good for the skin. I'm not going to repurchase it probably anytime soon because I am sent so much skincare PR that I don't need any like nighttime moisturizers right now. Once I've gotten through my PR, if I ever do get to a point of catching up with it, I would repurchase it at that point if that makes sense. But it's not one of those products I like have to have no matter what other products I have in my stash, if that makes sense. The product that I do have to have no matter what products are in my stash is the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast B5 balm. This is a soothing therapeutic multi-purpose cream. It has shea butter, vitamin B5, and madocasticide. I don't know if I said that right, but it's really good for chapped, cracked, and shaved skin. I use this as a, as a daytime like moisturizer. I was using it as my PM moisturizer until I started using the Versed Rich Moisture Cream that I got in PR, but I do use it during the day and I absolutely love it. A lot of moisturizers will pill on my skin like with the hyaluronic acid and maybe it's because I don't leave enough time in between applying the two things. But I really, really love this as like a daytime moisturizer and nighttime. My fiance uses it on his face and I have very dry skin. With a lot of moisturizers, the issue is it'll feel hydrating at first, but then later on in the day, my skin feels parched and it feels like I need to apply more. And this is not like that. It keeps my skin feeling hydrated all day long. Your face definitely feels hydrated like all day long. So I absolutely love this stuff. Next is the Josie Moran Argan Milk. This is Intensive Hydrating Body Renewal Serum with Argan Oil and Lactic Acid. I got this in a PR package from CBS Beauty and it's actually so good. I love the consistency of it because it's truly like a milky lotion. I love like my Sol de Janeiro bum bum creams and lotions, but oh my gosh, they take a little while to work into your skin, you know, and sometimes I'm just feeling lazy. And I'm like, I just need to slap some lotion on this body and go to bed. And I don't want to sit here and work for it. You know, it's really not that big of a deal to rub in lotion but some nights you just can't be bothered with it, you know? It says it's intensive hydrating and I absolutely believe that because my skin always felt really hydrated when I use this. I think this is a really great lotion to use before self-tanner because it is so hydrating and it's really, really easy to rub in, which I can always appreciate. And you can get this at CVS, so always love a good drugstore lotion moment. Next is the Ella Luz Beauty Oil. I did repurchase this already. And I lost it. I have no idea where it is, but I repurchased it during Ulta's sale around Black Friday because I think I got like 20% off on it. And I have no idea what I did with it. I don't know if it's back in Florida at my parents' house. I don't know if it's one of, in one of my mini makeup bags. I don't really know where it is, but I'm devastated because it is pricier. But a little of this goes a long way and I got this from the recommendation of makeup by Kellyanne, MakeupXKA on Instagram like literally years ago when she first started she talked she was raving about this and i got it and if you have dry skin and you just feel like your makeup can start to look cakey really easily and you just love a really glowy base this oil is so good for your face as a base like i will do my skincare and then let it dry and then i'll put this oil on and let it dry and sit on my face for a few minutes and i like really massage and rub it in and she always used it just for her under eyes but i personally use it like everywhere all over my face and there's actually like a little drop left so i'm probably gonna pull this out yeah there's a tiny tiny bit left so i need to salvage this because i don't know where my other one is and this is something that is like i notice a huge difference in my makeup the way it looks when i wear this and when i don't i don't have it on now and i think my makeup looks great but i love the feeling of it my skin never feels dry with makeup when i wear this I did repurchase this will i repurchase it again i'm gonna try my best to find it before i repurchase it again because i know i have a bottle laying around somewhere but i love this stuff for makeup prep or skin prep before makeup next up we have the smashbox primerizer this is the photo finish primerizer primer and moisturizer this product is not even packaged like this anymore this is 
probably two years old. I believe I got this Christmas of 2021. I remember buying this, I just don't know what year it was. I love this. I always heard Kathleen Lights rave about this like years and years ago and I've been buying it. This is only the second one I bought, but the, I first bought it like four or five years ago. And since I don't wear makeup a ton and a little of this goes a long way too because it is so liquidy and milky, but it is such a good hydrating primer for makeup and I really do feel like it helps my makeup last longer. I used the last bit of it today. I definitely will be repurchasing this. I'm very sad that I ran out. This is pricey, especially for a primer. And do I think I need both of these? No, but I always have used both of these together and I just felt like my skin always felt so good underneath my makeup. So I will be repurchasing this. I have a little bit of money left over on an Ulta gift card, so I'll probably be spending it on getting another bottle of this because it's pricey, but it's so, so good and it has great reviews for a reason. I love this primer so much. Next, we have the jumbo size of the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid 2% Plus B5. This is probably my 12th bottle of this. I've been purchasing this for as long as I've been purchasing the CeraVe face wash because Hiram basically made The Ordinary way more popular than it already was when it came out. I love this hyaluronic acid. I know some people have things to say about The Ordinary, but it's affordable. It works for me. I don't have any problems with it and it always makes my skin feel a lot more hydrated. So I will always repurchase this. I really like how Sephora carries the larger bottles. My last restock, I just got two of the smaller bottles from Ulta, but I love that it's affordable and it's really great for anyone. Whether you have dry skin, regular skin, I think that everyone can benefit from hyaluronic acid, but that's just my opinion. And I'm not a skincare expert, so don't listen to me, but I do really love it and I will always, always, always repurchase this. There are lots of other hyaluronic acid serums out there and I've tried a lot of them, but for the price, I feel like this does the same thing. So you might as well get the cheaper one. Next we have a girl Grande Lash and this was sent to me in PR and I used to use the Rodan and Fields Lash Serum. I know MLM, please don't come for me. I was getting it through someone like my mom knew or something and I could like order it online but it was so expensive and I hated that it was like an MLM. Ella has something to say about it too apparently. But Grande Lash had reached out to me and wanted to send me some of their products so I was like oh my gosh yes because I had stopped using Rodan and Fields last year, which it really does work, but Grande Lash also works and it's not MLM and it works just as well. And I absolutely love Grande Lash. My only complaint is I feel like I run out of these so quickly, but I am so thankful that they send me product every now and then, so I don't always have to repurchase it, but I will repurchase it when I run out. And I do have a discount code, so if you've been wanting to try Grande Lash or if you already use it and you know you love it and you want to save money on it, then you might as well get some money off and use my code and it's just abbyaslin15, I believe. I'll leave it on screen and in the description box and you can get 15% off Grande Lash so definitely check that out but I will repurchase this. Once you get used to having like lash serum and longer lashes from lash serum it's really hard to go back to your normal lashes because they feel like little stubs once you've gotten used to your lashes with lash serum. Last but not least we have the Buxom White Russian Full On Lip, Lip Plumping Polish. So they have the lip plumping polish and then they also have the creams I want to say but I have the polish white Russian is such a good topper I feel like white Russian goes really good on top of really any lip liner or lipstick it's got a little bit of glitter in it but it's a plumping lip gloss and I absolutely love it if you see me in makeup nine times out of ten like this is on my lips on top of the Too Faced badass lip liner it's not on right now because I'm out of it but I do want to repurchase it I will repurchase it this was probably my third tube I've repurchased and I definitely want to get more because it is my OG go-to lip gloss I'll put some pictures on screen of like what it looks like on but it looks so good on top of just like any lip liner lipstick and it's like my lips but better kind of color and I love that and it's plumping but it's not like a painful plumping and that is everything I have for my empties I hope you all enjoyed this video I thought it'd be like a fun new thing to do on my channel um that was still beauty related but you know more fun because I haven't done it before so hopefully this gave you all some insight into the products that I really love and like would repurchase I know there wasn't much in here that I wouldn't repurchase but I'm super thankful to receive PR from companies and be able to use a lot of these things for free and not really have to pay for them myself and repurchase them myself sometimes so I'm very thankful for that thank you all so much for watching I will have everything linked down below in the description box and if you've tried any of these out or if you have any recommendations for me definitely let me know because I'd love to hear them and thank you all so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you aren't already I will see you all in my next video.